So, my lovely bushes, welcome to a reaction. I'm gonna watch the reveal trailer for the very first time for the new Jump Force characters. Saint Seiya, as uh, everyone expected, because, you know, on the character select screen for the Jump Force beta, uh, there, there were a couple of abilities there. Or maybe just the one, Pegasus, Mirror Fist. So people could access this screen in the Jump Force beta before the beta even went live, which, you know, everyone saw this character announcement coming. Way to really undermine yourselves, Bandai Namco. But the announcement doesn't seem to be all that linear. There is kind of a surprise there. Seiya is getting announced alongside Shiryu. I'm gonna watch the trailer for the first time, react live with you guys. Uh, let's see if it's any good. New stage as well. Oh, cool. All right, all right. Oh, it's got some caves underneath. I'm digging the vibe. All right, yeah, yeah. The, the art style works with these characters. I was afraid, but no, it works. That's good. All right, we see a lot of square buttons. There's one special day. Was that a projectile? I think so. And that looked like a grab. Now, Shiryu. Big rushing attack. Super, super fast. Okay. Okay. Is that his awakening? And that's gotta be his ultimate right now. A bunch of projectiles. Very, very strong. Okay, there's the bow. Haha. <laughs> It's been a very long time since I watched Saint Seiya. I don't remember all of it, but every time- Okay, so when I saw the bow, I was like, Oh yeah, he used the bow a lot, didn't he? Oh, uh, it's a short trailer. It's a short trailer, but I'm sure, you, you know. First of all, Seiya was probably one of the most predictable characters. So not a lot of surprise there. On top of that, the character was sort of leaked by looking at the abilities in the Jump Force beta. So it's hard to fake excitement or surprise when uh, seeing this character reveal. Shiryu, on the other hand, Fans of the show are gonna love that uh, Seiya is not getting announced by himself and thus creating sort of the situation that we right now have with Yugi where we're like, uh, anyone else coming from Yu-Gi-Oh? Is Yugi really gonna be in there alone? I don't expect that, but you never know until they announce something, right? So that's good to see. The characters do feel a little bit similar as far as moves go. I mean, there, there were a couple of bits during that trailer that I can tell which one was which. I'm sure if we watch it slowly and go in a frame-by-frame -frame analysis, you can see, but like this first time, this first impression, it's like they seem like similar characters, which in one hand makes sense. They have similar abilities, right? At least as far as like, oh, all the jump universes combined, like these two work in a pretty similar way. But in an arena fighter, uh, every time I see sort of duplicate characters, I'm like, mm, really? Guys, that's a waste of a slot. That's it. That's the first impression. And that's only my opinion. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you want more videos like these, consider becoming a patron like these top supporters right here. They make all the videos and live streams on this channel possible. It can only be done with your support. But as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Glauku and I'll see you guys next time. Boy.